Hello and welcome everybody. Today we're talking about the texture of chips. Now for some of you it's a big deal, for some of you it's not that big of a deal. I'm going to give you some of my opinions and my thoughts and kind of what I look for. And it's not, to me, texture isn't a huge deal. But when we talk about it, I find that I have some strong opinions. For starters, so let me talk about what's in front of the camera here. If you are at home, grab a deck. We're going to play a hand. So in a, a few minutes here. But real quick, we're looking at some ABS chips just to represent them. I have some horseshoe chips. I think these were bought from Discount Poker. Um, some Majestics, I don't know. These are the stock on these. I don't know. Apache Poker chips. Um, these are some Bud Jones, some obsolete casino chips. Here's some Atlantic Club from Classic Poker Chips, considered a premium chip maker. Um, I love this brand. We have some Unicorn Amazon chips here. And we have no metal slug in here. They're pretty lightweight. You can watch the review on these or first impressions, whatever I made. And then we have some obsolete casino Paulsons. And then we have some ceramic chips from BR Pro Poker. So kind of a variety of textures here. And I want to talk about each one and give you my thoughts. And then we'll play a hand and we'll go from there. So first, the Metal Slug ABS chips. Okay, uh, these are ABS, okay? People, this is what they make drain pipe out of. Now I know some people are like, well, we use PVC, but they also make ABS pipes. And it's just a plastic and I don't like the, I not do I not like them? I hate the feel of these compared to other chips. Now, in reviews, when I talk about it, texture is not a huge make or break deal for me. So, you know, if I'm just like looking at these, like, oh yeah, these will serve as poker chips, they're fine. They're durable, the plastic will last a long time, no complaints. But when it comes to texture, I hate this ABS feel. Just my opinion, okay? So there. The China Clays, I, the, this is kind of the... Like if I were to rate this on a scale of one to 10, I'd rate it a six. You know, it's a little bit better than average, but not by much. Just enough where, you know, they're slippery enough where you can shuffle them easily, but they're not so slippery you can't stack them. So the Majestics are, you know, they're good. They're kind of what you expect. The These chips right here, I used to really like these because for the price, they were a good chip. They have the little label right here. They're molded. They're lightweight. But the texture is slippery. And this is where these fail. You know, this is, you know, <laughs> the weight's great. The looks are fine. But the texture is the worst part of this. Again, it goes into that hate category. I just do not like those as far as the texture goes. Again, texture's not a huge deal to me. I can look past the texture more than I, you know, most other things. So fine, you know, don't, you know, overall, but the texture, hate. So hate, eh, above average. To me, the Atlantic Club, I go back and forth between these and Paulson's as having the best texture on the planet. Okay. I mean, they're really, the texture on these is really, like you can see with lots of these other ones, you know, when I stick my finger on here and I spin around, they, you know, they just slip. The ABS chips, not so much, but a little bit. So, <laughs> just really, I really, really like the texture on these. So, Classic Poker Chips has some of the best texture on the planet. So, we're going to, if I had to rate that on a scale of 1 to 10, I'd rate that a 9. I'm struggling to think why it wouldn't be a 10, but maybe there's a reason. I want to say 9 for now. Paulson's. Okay, Paulson's are in the same boat. Paulson's have a wonderful texture. Many of you who play on the Las Vegas Strip are used to Paulson's. You've seen these. You know, you know what a Paulson chip looks like, whether it be a house mold Caesars or, you know, any number of chips on the Strip in Las Vegas. That's also easily a 9. Easily a 9, maybe a 10. Okay, so take that for... Th th those two, the texture, are made. phenomenal. But Jones, okay, now here's where <laughs> here's where this gets a little interesting because i 
don't like the texture of these. They're rubbery and plastic and they stick together and they, they're, it's like hard rubber, you know, for lack of a better, soft plastic, maybe a better way of saying it. But I don't like this in particular. I would say this is below average. You know, I would say this is maybe a two or a three. I don't hate it. It is endearing. I said in my video where I review, where I discuss Bud Jones, it's endearing that Bud Jones soft plastic rubbery feel. It's unique, but that doesn't mean I love it. So two or three, uh, I, and this is gonna step on some people's toes, but I like the texture of the Majestics more than Bud Jones. But if I were to go out and buy chips, I'd rather buy Bud Jones than China Clays, like Majestics. Does that make sense? So as far as texture goes, this is better than this, but as far as what I like, I like this more than this. Remember what I, how I said texture is pretty low on my priority list? All right, finally we have ceramics. Now, ceramics are pretty amazing because they're slippery enough that they're easy to shuffle. They're slippery enough where it can be kind of hard, like on the sides, it can be kind of hard to do some of these like, is it the James Bond villain who like, flips it over like this. So Paulson's you can do it because they have a great texture, but ceramics, you know, are super easy to shuffle because of their texture, but maybe not always the best texture, but I really like the texture because especially when they're new, they're not very slick. They have a nice casino style. I'm trying to think of the word um, slipperiness. Uh, maybe let's just stick with texture. All right, texture was a fine one. It has like a very casino-y texture to them, which feels good like in home games. Like I said, I, and you guys know me, I have a custom set of these, which we've used with family and non-gambling family, mostly with these. And my family still re prefers the Tiki Kings, by the way, they don't like my personal. They're like, we don't care about you. We want to see the Tiki Kings. So the, by, for those of you that aren't familiar, the Tiki Kings are a set of, ceramic poker chips that I have, and they're ceramic BR Pro Poker, the same brand as, the same manufacturer as these, and my custom chip. So all these are ceramic. So you can see I have a lot of ceramics. So for me, but compared to the rest of them, where does the texture fall? And to me, this is comparing, and this is, I hate the expression comparing apples to oranges, or you should compare apples to apples. Why are you comparing things that are the same to things that are the same. They're all poker chips, you know, as far as I'm concerned. So where does this fall? Well, definitely, you know, above average. So then all of a sudden we're up here with the Majestics, but then I would almost say, I'd give these like a seven. So before we play a quick hand here, how I would rate these nines, uh, I'm, if I can think of a reason not to give them a 10, they're nines, but we could, yeah, nine, ten-ish. Eight, probably, for the ceramics. I know some people don't like the sound of them. They're pretty hard plastic, hard material, whether they're ceramic in here, I don't know 100%, some proprietary blend, but they sound and feel like plastic. So, nine, moving more to like a six, like a two or a three, and then just hatred, zeros, ones, uh, yeah. I'd probably rank the ABS a little bit over this kind of like really flimsy material in like the unicorns. But again, this isn't gonna make or break a deal for me. Like I would be happy playing with some of these because again, texture's not that high on my priority. So kind of my opinions about the texture of poker chips. I'm interested to read your thoughts about the texture of poker chips. Some people, you know, there's no wrong answer. There's no right answer. This is all based on preference. So let's clear all these out of the way. Let's play with some Bud Jones because we just don't get enough Bud Jones on this channel. Okay, we're going to play a quick hand here. I think these are Royal. Is that right? Royal chips. Look at these awesome jokers. I like unique jokers. That always makes me happy. I'm trying to give credit here. Regal. Elite. Regal, not Royal. I was close. I got so many things kicking around here. All right. 
And we need, oh, special thanks to Poker Chip Forum. Long time. I like Poker Chip Forum. They help the community a lot. Lots of good information on there. If you're interested in poker chips, whether it be casino chips, collecting chips, or buying stock poker chips, that's a great community. I'm on there. You can always stop in and say hi. You should be shuffling your deck, by the way, if you're at home, because we're going to play a quick hand. And I think I won the last hand against our friend Jane Doe over here. So we are going to play a quick hand of not quite Texas Hold'em because there's no betting cycles here. And I'm not going to, I almost looked at her cards. That's not how we play poker. All right. <laughs> Insta ban. Looking at other people's whole cards. All right. Obviously, no betting cycles. This is what you see is what you get. And please tell me I won. There's no way she beat me here. All right. So whatever you need to raise up to, that's fine. I got you. There's no way she's going to have. Ha! Ooh, that was close. For a second there, I was afraid she was going to get that straight. But she didn't. <laughs> I'm a good winner. It's okay. It's all right. Trips. It's okay. It's fun. So, huge shout out to my patrons. Thank you for your support. If you'd like to join us on Patreon, I post some behind the scenes pictures and videos every week. It's just general support. You can also support me by visiting my Amazon shop. I'll put a link in the description below. I am an Amazon associate. I make proceeds from qualifying purchases. Thank you everybody for watching. And if you enjoy this content, please subscribe.